Hey y'all, what's going on everybody? I know y'all can't see me, I'm behind the camera. But my mama making her soup. Say hi mama. What's going on, everybody? Hey, Miss Valerie. Let me get in front of the camera so you can see me. Hey, Miss Valerie, how you doing? Wait, wait, wait. You call me loud because my kids home, y'all. So please forgive. Oh, but this is just regular life. This our life. I'm not going to go on you. As y'all see from the title, I'm not going to go on you. I'm not going to go on you. Mom, can you go on you? Got one of them toy roaches, and Deontay is legit scared of it. It's a toy roach that he got it from Scranton. I think gift bag, and Deontay is scared of it for real. Like, please, it's facing you. Cause I'm gonna be sitting behind it. Just say hello, hey everybody. I love you too. Hey Stephanie. Hey Cara. Hey, hey Miss Sheena Pool. Hello everybody. I'm gonna have to get my tablet because it's hard for me to see everybody's name from right here. If I'm if I'm signing uh, weird, I'm I'm all congested, so y'all gonna have to excuse my voice. Uh, so I didn't know it was a toilet room. Uh, At least you told me uh, we were gonna go live. I said of all days, of all days we going live. So y'all excuse my voice. But I'm finna cut up all my seasoning. I got celery, onion, yellow bell pepper, green bell pepper. Oh my god, he got my head. Uh oh, that's me. I got uh frozen cut up green beans, peas and carrots, frozen corn. And I got three iced potatoes, and I'm gonna put in there. Yeah, Philip, stop. Hey, y'all. Um, for those of you that's just coming in, I'm behind the camera. Open it. Y'all gonna hear the iced back and forth, y'all. Melissa, hey, Miss Melissa. Can I see over here? My hand. Yeah. Open the door. I moved to this side. I got some uh, vegetable broth, parsley. Garlic powder, paprika, Creole seasoning, and I got two jars of V8. And two cans of clam sauce. And all this gonna go in my soup. And one of the ladies, I'm trying to play catch up, y'all. I got my tablet right here y'all can see so i'm trying to log on so i can read what y'all saying because it's too small for my phone but one of my ladies was saying they're from the gulfport area so we are neighbors we are really neighbors aren't we how's everybody doing today in the chat so if anybody new on this this channel i'm known as mama mouth and everybody call me mama mouth I'm Alicia, I'm Alicia's mother for the new people. <laughs> I'm on everything to her. Her sister, her friend, her mama. That's who I am. Did you say hello, Ryan? I did. I said hello. Hello again. Love you. Mm -mm, girl, don't touch me. Okay, now I can read it. I can comment. Hello, how's everybody doing on this Saturday? I'm feeling a little better. 
better than I was yesterday. Yesterday, I was just, I was feeling so bad. I wasn't sneezing, but my nose was, was running like a faucet, and I was coughing a whole lot, so, so, at least right now, my nose stopped running, but I still, um, I got that old heaviness in my chest, that congestion knocking, but I've been rubbing with some mentholatium and on my throat, on my feet, in my chest. And I've been taking some um, uh, Mucinex. Mm -hmm. And I went to the store and got me some Dayquil, cold and fruit. But I think you got to wear off because I, I, I can't take all that medicine like that because I, I got real high blood pressure and heart problems. So I can't take all that medicine like that. So I, I had some honey and lemon, so I'm just going to let it wear off. All right, y'all. Well, mom, while Mama cutting up her vegetables right quick, I'm going to speak to everybody in the chat. Miss Valerie, Tuesday Butler, Stephanie, hey, sis, I love you too. Jennifer Williams said, hey, Alicia and family. Miss Sonya Freeman winning by losing, said hello, Paul. Nicole, hey, Nicole. Tracy Verbal said, hi, family. Miss Sheena Poole, hello, family. Mama Four, hey, Cara. Miss Marilyn Awesomeness said, hello. Miss Trina, uh, Trina J said the same. Um, Miss Marilyn Awesomeness again said hello, Alicia and Grandma. Journal Girl said hey, fam. Sarita's faithful journey. She said it's her first live. We glad to have you here. And I already said Cara. Miss, um, she said hey, Mama Margaret. Melissa Brooks was the one that's also from Gulfport, so we are neighbors. Um, Miss Tuesday said that it sounds good. Tracy said she wants some when it's done. Michelle Jones said, hey, I hope you write the recipe out for us. So what I'm going to try to do is put it in the, write the recipe and I'll put it on my community tab for you. Um, Miss Danielle Watson said hi from Indianapolis. Um, Melissa again said she's a block away from the beach. And who did I miss? Miss Trina, she was saying hi, Riante. Ebony Williams said hello, everybody. Um, Tuesday Butler said she hope she's doing good and she hope you feel better, Mama. And Cara said that she pray you feel better soon, Mama. So I think I'm all caught up, right, everybody? Um, yeah, I'm all caught up. This is going to be my version of vegetable soup. And we all know people cook different. They put different things in they, whatever they cook. But it, this is my version of how I make my vegetable soup. Like I said, everybody don't cook the same. So, this is how I do mine. Oh, what happened to our dog, Prince? Somebody had took him. He, they, oh, that was back in February, huh? Yeah, somebody stole him back, back in February, right before Philip's birthday. Um, and he was very upset and sad. So he, we ended up getting Savannah from a rescue shelter. Bookworm said, hello, everyone. What's for dinner? My mom is making homemade vegetable soup. And baby girl said, hey, Mama Margaret, I'm behind the, I'm behind the camera, y'all. <laughs> I'm sitting here behind the camera so I can type and text y'all. But I did get me one of these pies. I'm about to pop it in the oven, the little apple pies. So I'm going to pop that in the oven. Uh, and I usually put a soup bone in here. Uh, either I buy me some uh, 
beef stew meat and cut it up. But this time I'm gonna omit the meat because they really don't hardly eat meat out of it. I'll eat the vegetables. So, and then um, the stew meat was so high. So I prefer not to put any in there. And they didn't have no soup on them. So, like I said, they don't hardly eat the meat out of it anyway. And I hardly don't eat the meat out of it. As long as I get my vegetables, I'm I'm good. So, yeah, like I say, each day on the way how they cook, how they cook their their dinner, that's how I cook mine. Well, Miss Teresa Street, how are you doing? We doing good today. Mama got well. Mama got her up on them summer colds. How yeah, you? everybody get right. How you doing, Shay? Philip is in his room. He, you just missed him because him and Deontay was in, <laughs> in here hollering. Yeah, you or him again. I promise they're going to come through here. Hey, Zay. What's up? My mama, oh, mama for that's car, y'all. When I'm always talking about car, that's my girl car. She was here last year in July, and we had went out together on the beach, her and her family. Say, so, Zay, I hate car. And he don't care about that sending greeting to me. I appreciate that. Melissa, he's 13. Yeah, it's it's tough. It's tough having a child with um autism, just knowing the things different things they gotta deal with. But I tell you, they are strong. God made them strong. <laughs> Cora said, Xavier's smiling. It, it, give him a big old kiss for me. You know, he be trying to play hard, but he like those kisses. I'm glad y'all came on for, for our live. When Melissa told me to go live, I said, uh oh. <laughs> I said, uh oh, oh. I said, of all days, but I'm not feeling good, so <laughs> I just hope I don't start coughing, because y'all know how it is when y'all congested and coughing and. Well, the flu shot is out already, but I cannot take a flu shot because I'm allergic to them. I broke out. I got real sick behind it. People say, how you get sick behind a flu shot? And and I didn't because, you know, people say, uh, you don't catch a flu after a shot, but whatever that was in it, it really had me. It really had me sick, so I got a... Uh, Allergic reaction. I really was sick. We should have taken to the doctor. And I thought they would have put me in the hospital. I was just that sick. So I can't take no flu shot. Oh, uh, I already had a pneumonia shot. And that had me sick. So then I can't have nothing with Tylenol in it because I'm allergic to Tylenol. So I just got to be careful what I take. <laughs> So I just made me a whole ring and honey, honey lemon. And I had my uh, honey real thick and I just eat it like that. So Miss Ashael Hackett, am I saying your name right? I, I hope so. Um she said, Hey Mama Mar hey Alicia Mama Margaret, love y'all and I hope you feel better soon, Mama Margaret. Thank y'all do too. Mm -hmm. I, I don't like being congested. We love you too. And Cecilia, your other daughter said, hey, crew. <laughs> I'm always talking about, girl, mama get tired of hearing me talking about you. No, Melissa, I don't. Melissa. Now, she, she starts, <laughs> she starts something, y'all. Don't believe that. Melissa said, this is bipolar coast weather. Bipolar coast weather. Yes, it is. Because I'll be asking Lisa all the time, did you hear from so-and-so? And she'll say, yeah, mama, mama. <laughs> What y'all cooking today? Well, it's the weekend, so y'all not cooking. Well, I got all my, some people call it vegetables. I call it seasoning. I got it all cut up, ready to go in my pot.
fancy. I'm, I'm doing okay. I'm a little tired because I just had to go. I went back to the grocery store. Um, that haul, I just put the haul up right before we came live. So, y'all, please go check the haul out after we done. But, yeah, I had to go back and finish up my grocery shopping. So, I'm tired. But I'm not doing anything else the rest of the evening. And I'm going to try to make it to church tomorrow. Uh, Miss Teresa says she is not cooking anything. I, I know that's right. And Miss Veronica says she's doing pork chops, rice, mac and cheese, veggies, hot water, cornbread. <laughs> Baby girl said she didn't cook her kids and her a Texas Roll House, and she's trying to see what she gonna cook for tomorrow. Well, first I'm putting my vegetable broth in instead of water. Okay, so she said she did meatball, jalapeno poppers, fried chicken dishes, and one of the daughters wanted a tomato sandwich. Oh, girl, she country. <laughs> she country like her auntie Alicia. And Melissa says she going to the Island View, hopefully. Oh, girl, pass me by. Here's some crab legs, too. Nicole said, are y'all getting cold mornings and hot afternoons? No. It hasn't been cold. It hasn't been as hot in the mornings. It's been a But it's, you, yeah, you can From go out walking. Right. But, girl, come next week, we're going to be back in the 90s early in the morning. Ooh, Tulsa said they grilling hamburgers, hot dogs, and chips. I know that. So he said, yes, she is. She country girl. That's okay. Ain't nothing wrong with country. A lot of y'all was laughing at me when I was talking about my French fry sandwich. And y'all was like, I ain't never heard of a, fry, a French fry sandwich. Look, huh? When you grow up, <laughs> when you grow up and be... I'm not going to say poker. We always had food. But my, like I said, my grandma always made sure we had. Now here go all my cut up seasoning. I'm going to go in this pot with my, with my uh, chicken broth. I mean vegetable broth. Cold on the coast, it gets in my cool morning. Exactly. But then come out of girl, I want to get cold when we trying to be cute. <laughs> That's why you have to try. It's gonna tell you you get you some homemade french fries and put it on that bread. Mama, how many times do we eat french fry sandwiches? All the time. And it fills you up. I gotta have a lot of money on mine. When I eat fried, I don't put. Sometimes I put ketchup. Sometimes I don't. But I mostly put mayonnaise on my fries. That's me. Miss Tracy says she don't know what she want to eat. Girl, look. I know the feeling because since I had this call of mine, I just don't have no appetite. So lunch time I had. Put me a chicken pot pie in the microwave and I ate that. Oh, Nicole said it's in the 40s there, and by afternoon it's 80s and 90s. So I just added my two cans of tomato sauce. Oh, I'm glad I got six cans. And I didn't know how say, many you needed. Oh, Jenny, tomato sauce ain't got yes. It, it, Picking it up more than me. Cecilia say her daughter likes um mayonnaise and ketchup on her fries too. Mm -hmm. I like man mayonnaise on fish. Which I'm gonna be in, but I ain't. you know everybody cheats. Did you try the crab place over by y'all way? Girl, look, that place was right down the street from my house, literally a block and a half. I ain't never been in there, but my uncle Jack, my mama brother did. <laughs> And he said that the seafood was too expensive for him. Because it was, what, 30 something for, it uh, wasn't it enough for two or something like that, but it was like 30 something yeah. dollars. He said he wasn't paying that much, Melissa. But from what we was told, it got broken into. <laughs> the place had got broken into, but, or uh, something. They stole their pots and pain. But they say it was a person that knew her. Right. So. Oh, that place never had got uh, broken. Right. Cause you know, daddy's was there. Um, 
They had a whole bunch of places there, bakeries, and they never got broken into. Melissa said they're supposed to be opening back up. Girl, but mm -mm, I don't think I'll go because I'm like, I, I go to the casino and get me some cheap or, or go, you know, somewhere else. Right. Yep, I agree. And it's like, I get you got to make your money because seafood is high buying it. You know, it's very expensive. But, you know, you got to think. And then again, you got to think about the neighborhood you in. And this is a retirement area, so they, the rich people going to pay the money to eat. But if you just feed the regular country folks around town, you have to have, you know, you got to have it more reasonable for them if they have kids, you know. I put me two tablespoons of parsley. I love parsley. Oh, hold on. My girl said people eat french fry sandwiches all over in London. They call it chip buddy. Really? Oh, yeah. I've had it on some butter bread before, and you toast your bread. And put, girl, oh. Well, just, to me, it's just like putting fries on your hamburger. Right. If you have your burger, you just have That's your meat fries, and bread. Yeah. And that's why I was shocked, son, when everybody was saying, I ain't never heard of it. I was like, really? And I'm thinking, I know we do it in just that country. Because I'll do me some bologna, oh, fried bologna and a scrambled egg with some toast bread and some mustard. I'll eat that in a minute. You eat what you got. And have you a cup of coffee. Mm -hmm. Yep. So I, I just added my pepper, paprika, garlic powder, and parsley. I ain't going to add, I don't know, I might add on your pile. Because I got a lot of onions in here, so now I'm putting my little crayons in there. My eyeball out. She said she's going to eyeball it, y'all. Mm-mm. Now me, I'm going to make some grilled cheese sandwiches to go with it. Because I love grilled cheese sandwiches and vegetable soup. Okay, y'all got all this started. Um, let me show y'all what it looked like since I'm just sitting here not doing anything. <laughs> I'm going to bring y'all over here. And guess what it's looking like, y'all. All the stuff I done made, the liquid and my seasoning. My God, my all that. She said she got to take a sip. And this is my pie that I'll be putting in the oven. And this is the brand I showed y'all already. The app was, I just had this on my haul. Come the 25th, we we'll make 12 years since my mom passed. Oh, yeah. I love being in the kitchen with my mama, too. That's how it is with, with our grandma um, and my mom's mom. We used to all be in the kitchen with her. And and y'all know back before, let me put this down. Mama said she had to go sneeze. She'd be back. Oh, now I'm going to start sneezing because that seasoning. <laughs> Hold on, y'all. One second. Okay. Because y'all know back before, um, Katrina, when we lost our original homes, we had a small house. We had a two-bedroom. <coughs> Ooh, that seasoning mama we had a two bedroom one bath and the kitchen was small you know back then in country kitchens they were small but everybody got into that one kitchen and your grandma made sure you had cakes and pies and cookies and ice cream and everything for the adults and the grandkids and we just had fun but y'all know it ain't really like that no more that's why I love that my kids are home and I get people that still ask me. I made my frozen vegetables. Which one was that? The green beans? I got those from Walmart, y'all. Nicole said it looked good. Hmm? Nicole said it looked good. Miss B. Bless said, you go, Mama Margaret. Thank you. <laughs> Ebony said, yes, Mama Margaret. Vegetable soup. Yes, I'm telling y'all. What made me think about vegetable soup was... Gina, I was looking at her video, and she made a vegetable soup. And I say, oh, some people say it's too hot for soup. I say, hmm, I'm going to make a vegetable soup. 
And especially when you have a cold head cold, it makes soup just makes you feel good. It just makes you feel good. And this way you get all your vegetables. Yeah. And we and we only use the V8 juice. I don't do any other brand. We tried it with different brands, but it just I don't know. It doesn't do the same. Nicole and Cecilia both said it looks good, Mama, and it looks delicious. Yeah, but I'm I'll, I'll uh, use uh, one of my ice cream bowls, and I'm gonna share some with my son. I'm gonna give him some because this gonna be a big old pie, and he can he can take his to work. You better let him come. Because I know he's going to ask him. You better let him just come pick some up. Because if you just send him some home, he ain't going to get it. Then he's going to be mad. You just have to tell him to come here and get it before work. <laughs> well, that's true. Well, I got one of them little containers I can give him. Yeah. Well, I don't put my... Yeah, some to, comfort food. I don't put my... Um, So I can see you too when you're talking and sit back just in case it cut off. Cause y'all know sometimes when you're live, it cuts off. Oh, it's too dark over here. Mama oh. say, Mama say you're not gonna be in my way. That's what you're not gonna do. You're gonna put it in there. Mama say, 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 Mama Put y'all right back over here. Y'all don't mind, do y'all? Hey, baby, how you doing? Uh oh, Lord. Hey, I'm gonna just put y'all back over here because it, it's, it's in a square, but it's just the way it is. It, just, it doesn't matter. Let's see what I miss. Miss Teresa said, Now, when my grandmother is here, with me, she's always in the kitchen asking, <laughs> let me help, but it's never too hot for soup because it's comfort food. Yes, it is. Oh, I bet you ain't getting no crackers. Hey, behind me. How you doing, Terrence? Oh, yes, and if girl, if my mama was making that soup, she would put neck bones. Yes, we used to put neck bones, stew meat, all of that in there. But I could not find any neck bones at Walmart or Claiborne. They was completely sold out. And they were sold out the original soup mix. The one that got like the cabbage and all of that in them. So I think everybody been probably making it. Because they was like as quick as they get it in is as quick as it go out. And some people put... Uh... It's a vegetable? No, I don't eat oxtail. Oh, yeah, some people put oxtail, oxtail. in that soup. I don't eat oxtail. Hey, Jennifer. Jennifer say, hey, family mama Margaret get down in the kitchen. Yeah, she, yeah, she making her vegetable soup. She said she, we, she didn't put any meat in it this time. Because the last few times we made it, we ended up with nothing but meat left because the kids really wasn't eating it. Savannah, what are you barking at? <laughs> I know ain't nobody coming I mean, in. I like to put meat to spread, spread my soup up, but I didn't want her to pay that high price for, for that stew meat and stuff this, this go around, so. Mm -hmm. And they won't go eat it. And like I say, I'm really not no meat eater, so, and I don't want to waste no food, so I'm, I'm good with the with the Miss Mel said, I need to try that soup because I know it's going to be great, and I'm going to and get me a pot of semen too. I know that's right. Yeah, it's good. And you know what that VA juice, it already have all your vegetables in it and then you add vegetables. So yeah, it's, it's good. Yep, yeah, you get your can that V8 or either uh, the tomato juice and add in your soup. It give it a good flavor. It won't be watery or nothing. So, anyway. Mm -hmm. I got that going. 
and you can add bouillon cubes. You know, you can add anything that you want. You know, it's it's just your thing. Sometimes we'll do uh, what you call it. The only thing I miss is my baby. What you call it? Sometimes we'll do the canned vegetables, but I just got her the frozen because y'all know sometimes the frozen vegetables are a little bit sweeter. And Mama asked me to get her crackers, but I'm doing grilled cheese for me and Philip because I love to dump my grilled cheese sandwiches in my soup. Well, I love crackers. I can, I, I just can <laughs> eat a, just a, a whole pack of plain crackers. Mm -hmm. yeah, I do. go in my room and I sit down on my bed and I eat me a whole pack of crackers. Jennifer, say, how we doing today? We doing good. How, how did they doing? Good. 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 Yeah, she is. <coughs> yeah, Jennifer, I'm just tired, girl. You know how that is. And Terrence say, Mama, like me, I can't cook in the nasty kitchen. Clean as I go. I know that's right. Yeah, you have to. And Miss Ebony say, God bless you, Miss Alicia. Pray you feel better. Thank you. I am. I'm having a little bit better today. If I sit myself still long enough. Here come Phil. Yeah, I heard him. Phil say, is the food done? A true man. Can you say hello? Howdy, partner. No, you got to come over here in front of the camera. You and all them go to bed. Lord Jesus. I have a blue. Go over that way so ways. you can see the camera. So they can see your camera. Peoples. What's up, howdy? Okay, where's the food? Yo, mama, still cooking. Oh, where's the Miss Jennifer says hi, Philip. With your little handsome self. Tell her I said what's up. She can hear you. Y'all know what's he country. Y'all know he country. Mom, I said, will hey, shoot Philip. you. <laughs> How you gonna don't shoot you, Mama? I was the one took you out yesterday. Hey, what? who pays the bills in this house? <laughs> Me. <laughs> who, do, who does the dishes in this you house? Y'all hear him Me. say who pays the bills? Hey, who pay? goes to school in this house? Me. So yes, now that part true. Right. <laughs> you might pay a bill every now and then. Mom, I will so pick your good. legs up. You're Real quick on my legs, sir. Stop. Martha, I ate some apples. Sure, you can have some apples. Okay. Y'all, he a mess. A uh, whole complete mess. Wait, you call me? Nothing. Don't I'll call you Hurricane Katrina. Get your Trina. apples. Hurricane Katrina, don't do that. Well, Mom, well, you better be nice. <laughs> yeah, he is, y'all. Well, I'm going to be that second son you ever seen. Life. Okay, he gonna take a nap soon. He just don't know. His daddy texts me. Move, Guys, girl, don't move the camera. Don't, don't, don't listen to this if y'all are two or four. If you get apples in the refrigerator. Yeah, get your apples out of the refrigerator. Rip your skin off. Cara said, hey, um, Philip. <laughs> you know your TT Cara. She said, hey. Why are y'all all saying hey to me? Hey, Miss Genovia. She said, every time I see Mama Margaret, it gives me that childhood comfort. Of the good days, she's such a blessing to watch. Thank you. Thank wait, you. wait, let me see the tablet. Why? I appreciate it. How can they see my Because I'm watching the thing. Boy, get from in front of me. How can they see me? How can they see me? Your AT Jennifer said, Philip, you don't want to pay bills yet, baby. Um, hey, Miss Carla. Hey, beautiful family. <laughs> I'm a little movie <laughs> channel, Alicia Southern Crew, and I love it. Your mother and family is such a blessing. You are all in my prayers always. Peace and love. Thank you so much, Miss Carla. Let me see if that works. <laughs> uh, it's only yeah, just delayed, Philip, because I'm watching it. It's delayed. Now get in front of the camera so they can see your mama. They don't want to watch you. Look at mama. <laughs> don't look at me, guys. Go on, get your apple Mom, can I eat something like Can you what? Can I get something like you just asked for some apples. Hey, Mom, can I go get some chips? Thank you. Yes. Do y'all kids eat all day? We do. All day. <laughs> they eat all day. Let's go. Yes, he is here. He in a great mood today. Well, I'm going to tell y'all this. <laughs> yes. The other day, a couple days, I've been feeling real bad, but it didn't stop me from not watching people. They put up their they video because I had watched uh, Jennifer did a cake and she went to Walmart and Goodwill. I did watch that, and I enjoyed that. Walking through Goodwill, 
I'm sorry your uh, project, your product didn't work. Sometimes you can get some bad, you know, uh, things like that. That's why I don't hardly buy the uh, electronic things. So they be looking good and you come home and it's got, because I remember we had bought, what it was, a blender? Yeah, I think so. From Goodwill. And, I mean, it looked brand new. Then when we plug it up, it, it wouldn't even turn. And then it's hard like, for you to return nothing. Like, you know, get a refund, you got to uh, buy something in place of that. So, mm -hmm. after that, I don't, I, you know, I don't buy anything like that. And who else I watch? I, I watch. You watch Cam? I'm out of say. Car, car. What? Car. Car. Sometimes I say Kara, sometimes I say Cara. She know we couldn't. Cara. Well, my girl. I, I, I call all of my girl. Well, my girl, I, I watch her with her dog, and I watch her with her exercises. And I watch Candy's long. <laughs> Her two hours in some video, and it was one of their part. I did kind of go to sleep on it, but that was, that was my part. I put it up there. And my one under the bed. Mama, where the chair? What else did I do? Oh, and uh, she said she answered the phone. Tiana, I had watched her. I had watched her video when she took on her, her mama to the eye doctor. Oh, was I laughing? And I was coughing and laughing at the same time. Because it was funny. And she cooked something she had cooked. Something she cooked. Mm -hmm. But I be watching everybody's video, y'all. Don't, just because I don't comment all the time, but I, you know, I watch y'all. So, and I give y'all a thumbs up. So. Cause y'all, mama had me laughing. My side was hurt. I said, "Mama, Candace put up a video," and she say, oh, "Okay, I'm gonna have to watch it as soon as I'm finished." Cause you were watching Tiana's then, and she asked me how long it was, and I told her. She said, "Oh, I'm gonna watch it tonight." <laughs> Cause, and that's how I do with Candace videos. I watch them at night before I go to sleep because she like me. We be having up some hour and a half, two hour long video. That's a movie. If you watch it in the daytime, you not getting your job done. That's why when I have long videos, I try to put them up in the evening, y'all. Because I don't want none of y'all to be like, this girl don't think we got work to do. So, yeah. But she be watching. She be telling me when y'all put up. And then she try to tell me what the video about. And I be like, Mama, I ain't watch it yet. But just let me tell you this part, Mama. I ain't, I ain't watch it yet. Yeah, because Cam was telling her grandma, oh, you ain't going to sleep. You done ate Chinese food. You not going to sleep. You going to walk. <laughs> She like me. I would have said, I'm not going to walk nothing. No exercise. <laughs> it was funny. Yeah, she damn there. Yeah, Carl say she like to throw a long video on and watch TV and sit back and enjoy it. Oh, yeah. You get so caught up in them. And sometimes, and I know you ladies that vlog can understand this. Sometimes when we vlog, we second guess ourselves and be like, I don't know, do I want to put that up? They might not like it or they might not this. And then my mom would be like, why do you delete your videos? And she was like, you be deleting good car vlogs. But I don't know, sometimes I guess it's just me. I be thinking, y'all don't want to see that. <laughs> or y'all don't want to see us acting crazy. But y'all like it because I like to watch it. I be watching the videos. I be hey, sitting Michelle. on the sofa. And I have my phone, I'll I, I be like this, y'all. <laughs> and I had it all charged. And I'll be like this, watching my video. And next thing I know, I'm like this. <laughs> <laughs> and Lisa say, Mom, you will see by I say, I ain't, ain't going to see by all watching. <laughs> <laughs> but as soon as that head go to the side, I'll she watch, get up. I'll watch it. And then when I, when I wake up, then they still on. I say, well. And then I roll back to see what I missed. So y'all can tell that I am dedicated to y'all, <laughs> to y'all channel. I may fall asleep sometimes, but I go back and I still watch it. So y'all not gonna escape from me and I'm not watching it. 
All right, girl, Michelle said, Mama Margaret, it's always a blessing to see you. I know it's going to be delicious. Hi, Alicia and family. It's always a blessing to see you all, and I love y'all. We love you, too. Yeah. All I got to give a notification and say, oh, they, I don't care what I'm doing. Hey, Ebony. I'm a wife. Took, took the back out of here, didn't he? Carla said, my video, I think, are boring, gets the most attention. I know. And I think it's because of us, we do it because we it happens in real life, real time for us. And then we got to edit it and we just get tired of seeing it. But y'all like it. Yeah. Oh, and I'm going to let y'all know before I'm going to just say it while we live. so Because I'll forget to tell y'all tomorrow. Well, we're going to church tomorrow because one of our cousins, she adopt kids and... Well, she went into taking foster kids, but she adopted another one, so they're having a service tomorrow at our church. And my pastor wants me to film it. And I'm going to tell y'all, I'm going to give y'all a warning, because my pastor watch our videos, so she know I'm always honest. I can't be nothing but honest. Usually y'all have seen one of my church services before. We usually have, what, 14 to 27 people at our church. But tomorrow, since they got something going on, it's going to be a bunch of people, and they're going to show out. Y'all know how black folk do. <laughs> you know how we do when we get together and people ain't been at church in a long time they want to sing and show out and then after the service tomorrow you won't see them until the next funeral or wedding so I'll be recording our church service tomorrow and I found out from my doctor when I went that I, I will be able to go back to work um, a lot of you guys saying that I had said that my doctor was out Friday because her daughter and her were sick and she'll be back Monday. So I got to go to work Monday. But I did get a call back from my boss and she informed me that she had to let me go and she was rude about it. And I had to say, Lord, just hold my mule because all my Christian was about to just get kind of pushed to the side and I was about to cuss her out. I'm not going to lie because she was rude. Like She was really rude because she was telling me, well, we know you're sick, but you can still come and just stock shelves, or you can still come and do this, and <laughs> yeah. So she she rude, she rude. I can tell she don't have no kind of Jesus in her because when I was telling her, well, I don't need your riddle fuel, either pray for me or don't, and she was like, she's not a praying woman, and that's all I needed to hear because if you're not a praying person, I don't even need to work for you, period. So it's a blessing, it's a blessing, and so I won't be able to work. So now I'm just back to being a stay-at-home mom, and my job is going to consist of taking care of Philip, my mom, and just being a full-time YouTuber with both channels. But I know God is going to provide, and I had told y'all before, say hello, Deontay, and I had told you guys before that my reason for really wanting to go out and work, at least through Christmas, because it's plans. It, I had plans of what I wanted to do for Philip for Christmas. And I know I'll still be able to do it. He didn't ask for anything but his bunk bed. And that's it. But it's still, you know, as a mama, what we want to do. But like I said, I know God got it. He's going he gonna to provide. I'm just going to keep faith and keep going. But I just want y'all to Well, like I told Alicia, <laughs> just like I told her, I'll say, at least you try. And then another thing, they more concerned about their job than it is her. Because like I told her, she would have got sick on her jaw, and they would have called her me, and that store still would have been opening, and she would have hired somebody else. So yeah, I can figure it out. they can keep their jaw, and just like uh, her introduction on her, when she be coming on, on for her uh, YouTube, she be, what, what's it, what's the name of it? The intro, and outro? The intro video. Intro video, and that says it all. That saves it all. But she will be all right. God provide. He will provide. And just don't worry about it. You got to think of your health. Because them people in births is not going to think about your health. They just want you to come back right. and stock up and get ready for the holidays. Right. But I always say this. I don't know how anybody else take but I always, I always say this. We all, we all have a prayer in our life that we get sick. We don't know how we're going to end up. Just like that lady was talking to her, Lisa like that, she don't know how she's going to end up. 
And I don't wish no bad luck on nobody, but I'm saying this. She don't know how she gonna end up, because anything can happen. She can slip in the store, hurt her back, and she can't work. Mm -hmm. yeah. But you gotta look at things like that. <laughs> but just like when Misha told me, she said, well, my boss man said, well, can you come stop? How in the world <laughs> she gonna go stop? And her doctor called them and told them she mm -hmm. can't come in, but they still want her to come right. and stop. Because my doctor faxed the paper over if they had needed proof. You know, so they wouldn't just think I was just saying it. But she didn't care, y'all. She and like when I tell y'all that lady was rude, but she was nice the entire time. When I went for every oh, interview, patient, as long as I was there, and I was part time. And y'all know when you work part time, you actually <laughs> do more than full time because yeah. they cram everything into those few hours. Oh yeah, they're gonna. They, and Miss Lynette, they're gonna be all nice to you and say, "Oh, you a good worker," but soon when you call in and be sick and can't go no more, it's it's over for you. Hey, sweet Sadie. But hey. I tell you what, if <laughs> if she would have called here and I would answer the phone, and she would have said something, I just had to hold my peace. I wanna. <laughs> I wanna. I don't know. I no, you would, cause I know you. If if she would have said, I ain't gonna say I wouldn't cuss her, cause I'll be lying. But I would have cussed that woman out and, and and tell her where to go with her stocking mm -hmm. and everything else. Yeah. Cause my that's my daughter, and I feel for. Her. But at least she tried, and maybe I'm not gonna really say it wasn't for her, but. God shows us, he shows us a sight to see, because he tried, see, just like he gave, he given her a little test to see how she can work if she can't work, and she been sick a long time, which y'all know with her great disease and lupus and everything else, he just given her a test to let her see for herself that, uh, you know, he really took she made one step, he'll make two. But he trying to show her, he trying to show her that he's with her all the time. And God give us a test to see how it's going to be. And we just got to listen to him. Mm -hmm. We have to listen to what he's, he's showing us and telling us. So she just can't work. Miss mm -hmm. Lynette said hello. Well, things going to get better for her. Miss Lynette said hello, and Sweet Sadie said, "Tell Mama I said I love her." Oh, tell her she not in. She oh, Sweet Sadie, my <laughs> girl, you not up in Dollar Tree. I looked at you yesterday. Also, I picture you in Dollar Tree. You don't get a Dollar Tree family dollar and, and oh, uh, thank you, Miss Jennings. Dollar General, I know you have. Hmm. You are Sweet Sadie. You I went right. to uh. Go, not go. See, it said, preach your mama, Margaret. I oh, don't, so have, oh, don't let me start. When I start, I can't <laughs> stop. Um, I went to General Dollar Store this morning to get my uh, chicken broth. I vegetable to stop. And I seen all on the table where they had they, your, your, oh, uh, we love you too, Miss you buy one and you get two free. Mm-hmm. I was attempting, y'all. I, I was just looking. I say, I say, nah, I just come for this. I got, I, I come for two things. That vegetable broth and some cold medicine. <laughs> I say, and I mean, they had a lot of tables. But some of them prices was, it wasn't very fine. Yeah. And Deontay was in there with me, and we went, went down the aisle. He said, Mama, look at here, they got Christmas stuff out already, and it's not even Halloween. I said, I said they got a, a mix of everything, <laughs> Halloween, Thanksgiving, and Christmas. Because that's what she wanted me to do, because they got their truck in that Wednesday, and she, they, she wanted me to help unload them Christmas boxes. And when I told my friend Lorenzo, he cussed, <laughs> he cussed, and he was like, you're going to be helping them stock up Christmas stuff, and you're going to be dead come Christmas. He was like, you better let them people have it. And then, you know, you you go buy the, the Christmas stuff now, and the people that's mm -hmm. looking for the stuff, they'll say, y'all don't have 
Oh no, I truck not gonna right. come in or something. Then you out of but <laughs> since they got all all of it, you know you might not have the money right now to go buy the stuff. But uh when I went with Misha to she that when she was gonna find her a red shirt. I went in goodwill. They didn't have too many um they had a lot of Christmas decorations, but I didn't I didn't get I'm I'm gonna go back because I seen so I hope it's still there, but I seen a few Christmas items that I would like to get. But I did get me a pumpkin and something else. Didn't but hey, hey pumpkins was hot. Cause that one pumpkin we seen was like six dollars or something. And I wasn't gonna pay no stuff. Yeah, store. you can get six, that from the store. It was six nine nine, and then they had some old. <laughs> and I wasn't buying that there plastic. Right. Uh, pumpkin and Philip can go right to the pumpkin patch and get a whole <laughs> pumpkin. Big old right. Pumpkin for at least about two dollars. I look at that thing I said, oh, I don't want that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. See, y'all done got most of <laughs> Oh, boy. There he go again, y'all. I told y'all he was going to be bad. Miss Lynette said, when you going to be making some gumbo? Get out the camera, buddy. We'll probably have some for no, we're gonna have to have some before Thanksgiving. You know what? We can do some when Alicia come home. Cause Alicia had asked for some. And she come? October fourth through seventh. Okay, It's like in two weeks. That'll so Miss Lynette, in two fall. weeks. Okay. Yeah, because Alicia'll be home for her fall break and she asked for some gumbo. You know when them kids get well, home for college. Yeah, because we'll you know them college kids, they be going home cook meal. That boy, he a mess. And y'all know, I told y'all he wanted his hat cut. And now he got it cut. He talking about don't cut it when it grow back. And I think he just wanted a change. That's what my pastor said. He wanted to try something new. But he said he missed rubbing his hair. I say, Lord, Jesus. <laughs> and his hair grow back so quick. So I was talking to my sister on the phone not too long ago when Lisa was doing her haul. And Lisa said, you can rub it up. Me and her stop talking. It's over, y'all. So when I came out, she done put all the growth up. I said, Alicia, I wanted to see what you got here to put the growth up. She said, you'll see it on the thing. So I said, okay. Beyonce. So, uh, oh, Jesus, I forgot what I was going to say. <laughs> you were talking ain't Kel. I put the groceries up. Oh, and then she <laughs> say, don't y'all say poor my mom. Uh, she say, her children ask, ask her what they going to, uh, are they cooking for Thanksgiving? Oh and oh, uh, Carol say, oh. no, her name Carol. She say, no, we're not cooking for Thanksgiving. And she said, well, <coughs> we can <coughs> we can rent a house and we can bring all the food day. And they showed my student off picture. Oh, thank you. Excuse me. And she say, I can't claim up every step because she got COPD real bad. She said, I can't claim up every step. So I told Cal, I said, what you do? I said, uh, I said, if they want Thanksgiving at home, I say, y'all been cooking all this long time. I say, just let them cook the Thanksgiving a meal if they want Thanksgiving at y'all house. I'm guessing you I said that'll be the best way to do it. Let them bring all the stuff. So uh she asked what we were doing. So me and Alicia say. Oh, we ain't cooking Thanksgiving, but uh, we always say that, but uh, we got to end up cooking for Thanksgiving, because we're going to have, we're going to, we're going to have company coming over, so we'll be cooking, y'all, but uh, I'm not going to be doing all that baking cakes. Like that, cause my legs be hurting me so bad <laughs> the next day. So I just buy. We'll we'll probably cook some sweet potato pies, and uh, well, Alicia makes sweet potato pies, and we'll buy a cake. I might end up making a, a pound cake. It all depends. It all depends how I'm feeling. But other than that, we gotta end up uh, doing the Thanksgiving. Uh, I still talk. 
Like I said, when Lisa said she won't come on live today, so thank God I ain't doing all that coughing. So and you know better now when you want to show our talk. Miss Patricia said hi to Mother Mississippi. Crazy. We hot. But it's nice today. I think that's why I got sick because it was real hot and then I'd be inside with the air condition going in and out. And then it couldn't be that. Everybody, everybody having this cold because everybody was in the store buying cold medicine. But, they said, thank you, God moves about the spirit and she's glad that she's with live in the Yeah. Um, Kanisha said, 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 Kanisha I'm sorry to hear y'all getting that flood. Shorty Finest McKinley said, You never speak to me. That's why your channel ain't growing. I can tell you. Well, this is the first time I've seen you comment. Who? Shorty Finest McKinley. Shorty. Hey, Shorty Finest McKinley. Oh, she knew that too? Well, she said I never speak to her, but I never seen her oh, comment. Well, welcome. She not ignoring you or anything like that. Uh, welcome to, welcome to. Uh, she said that's why my channel not growing because I'm petty. But she is so, uh, and that's okay. Oh, that, yeah. That's that's okay. I hate to see her go, but I understand. Like, if people feel that I'm petty, I'm sorry, but I'm not. If I don't see a comment, it could go to spam. The comment can be blocked for one reason or another. Well, don't be petty. Or I just didn't see the comment. She didn't see it. That's just like me. If I didn't see the comment, that don't mean I'm petty. But God bless you anyway. We right. still love you. Yeah, it's okay. I mean, I understand that's that's her choice. So yeah. I, you know, I'm not gonna get, I'm not gonna get in my feelings or nothing about it because it's her choice. Um, so yeah, she wanted to unsub and it's fine. She has to, she got the fingers to hit the button and. But not, I, I yeah. want to say that because your channel not growing, cause it's growing. I mean. Yeah, my channel's growing. It's been growing. Don't get that. Don't get <laughs> that. That neck, that comment like that. That's why it's not growing. Right, it's, honey, it's growing whether you be on or not. <laughs> I'm sorry to say it like that, it's but. Okay. Yeah, like I said, it, it's okay, and God bless you. We still love you, but don't say that's the reason why it's not grown. Please don't say that. Right. People, the, the Queen Ray said, people need to get out there. And honestly, you guys, those who vlog, those who vlog, understand that a lot of times we do not get all of our comments. And sometimes we get so behind in our comments that we can't speak to everybody. But and I give and everybody hard. Don't comment be wrong, because when I be when I be sitting down and looking at somebody else's channel and and it be just rolling and some people say, Oh, who did I miss? And right. they'll say, Well, um, if I miss anybody, say me. And if if we if Alicia miss y'all or I miss y'all, well say me and we'll we will comment. But don't please don't come on here and just yeah. give a uh yeah, don't, don't think we're being negative because like that's that not even who we are. Because we are, we are love of a channel. We, do, we don't have no, nobody. Just like if we if we didn't see your comment, right? she would have went back. That ain't the reason why she don't speak to you and, and your channel not growing. Please don't come on and do that today. Right, not today. But it's okay. Like I said, it's, it's definitely her but choice. God bless you. you can't make and anybody stay. You cannot so. make anybody join your channel stay. But I have been That's doing right. YouTube. I have been doing YouTube now for over four years, and I am very happy and blessed to be where I'm at. I don't need to be at 10, 15, 20, 50,000 because, in all honesty, the more you have, the more drama. That's and right. I am happy for all of my family and my crew and like we because say, we don't do drama here. So if people right. come on with drama, you can take and the drama. Like they always say, each to his own. And we we uh on Alicia Sun crew, we we love unconditional, but we just we are we are uh a group of people that we don't believe in no mess. Right. But yeah, but I'm not mad at her. God bless her and I wish her the fine. I wish her the best. And if she have a channel, 
I pray God that her channel grows and be successful, you know. And Kim says, Mama, let me send you a ticket to Seattle and bring some bring the soup with you. <laughs> and Ray said, Y'all sure don't. I love y'all. One person ain't gonna stop this live. We still going strong. That's right. What they say, one person don't stop no show. Um, Queen Chelsea said, Can we do a family mukbang one day? Girl, me and the kids can, but mama won't be. <laughs> I, I will do it. Kind of, it's kind what? Of like, I will do it because we have to do saying? one. Uh, uh, Risa tag tag Risa to do a, a fly forward with making a burger. Yes, I seen that. I'm going to get Risa too. I'm going to her house and get and her. And I'm going to do it. Doing me. And it's going to be funny. Oh. And, and look, we're going to be blindfolded. And and I'm not trying I'm not trying to be funny or nothing like that. But I'm used to kind of feeling around because when I was you know, when I was going through with my eyes, both of my eyes and I couldn't see good and I had to feel around. So I'm used to feeling around. So I'm a, I'm gonna try that I'm gonna try that tag with doing a hamburger, you know, blindfold. I'm gonna try that. I think it's gonna be fun. See, I love watching your grocery haul tell the beautiful children. I enjoy seeing them and keep a smile. I'm here, thank you. Make my day. Thank you, Miss Patricia. Teresa Brandon says, hello, family. Hi. Hello. Yep. And Miss Janice, you right. You do got to pray for people like that. But like I said, she entitled to her feeling. And if she feel that, if she feels that I ignored her comment, and you, I can say until I'm blue in the face that I didn't see it. But if she's not going to believe it, she's not going to believe it. And she's already gone. She said bye, so it's fine. Um, it's, it's fine. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. Uh, where's Philip? I think he went back into his room. But he'll probably be popping back up in here. You know, people be telling me when I'm driving, Mo, I was just waving at you and you didn't wave back. Me, when I'm when I'm behind that wheel, I watch the road. I don't be looking to see who who's uh who passing me up or who waving at me. And I don't be on no phone neither. So I don't be ignoring nobody. I'm just be trying to see where I'm going and get that safe and I don't hit nobody. Hello. <laughs> she do got shorts on y'all. She just so short y'all can't ever see her shorts. Have I ever thought about doing a meet and greet? Yes, I have. I've actually thought about doing one before, but I think, I don't know. I don't even want to say I want to be at a certain, that's a leisure, you guys, on FaceTime. Um, you know, but I have. I really have because I want to meet you guys face to face. And y'all know our family, like I said, I'm behind the camera, y'all. This yeah, is me right here. <laughs> but I'm just one of them people. I love love. You know what I'm saying? I, I love love. I love being around people. And the more the merrier. Um, and I'm just one of them people. That's why I hate when people people see me in a way like I think I'm bougie or better than anyone else. Because I'm the most country. I am country and the most down to earth person you ever going to see. You know what I'm saying? Like, I have never met a stranger. Um, I, I don't have that kind of heart in me. And I love being around people, you know. But I don't deal with messy people. I don't like dealing with messy people at all. I'll be dealing with messy people so quick. Oh, y'all know I don't, I don't like to deal with, with mess. Y'all know, know how I am from right. that last experience that I had got from them other two. Mommy, I want to cook. She's still cooking. That other two that we had the block. Right. And y'all know, know what was said then. I just don't like you, uh, messy people. If you're gonna if you gonna come on be for real, you right. know, don't make no bad comments like that. Yeah. Here, Alicia said she wants to go on live. Oh yeah. Alicia wanna see you guys. Hold on. Oh, there she go. There you go. Say hey girl. Hi girl. Girl, don't play. You said you wanna go on live. My arm hurt. Say hi to him. What did you say? I wanted to go back to the living room. She said you wanted to go on live. She wants to go on live. Why is she in a way? I don't know. I think her outside these bathrooms. They saying, hey, Alicia. You're the wettest dog I've ever seen. She's wrong. You are the... Oh, 
But yeah, y'all, we do. We want to meet you guys one day. We really do. We want to meet all of you guys one day, if possible. That's why I always say, if it's God's will. And Carno, we had met up, like I said, last year. So she know how our family is. I've been in New Orleans in 2014. I believe we stayed in a double tree near Enterprise Restaurant. Hmm. I think I know the area you're talking about. Um, Miss Tuesday B Butler want to know how was school, Alicia? Uh, it's good. I failed. I got a quiz. She said she failed a quiz. What quiz did you fail? Uh, it's for my business class. Hmm. I'm going to need you to not do that. <laughs> it was hard. No, I didn't say that. Oh, okay. But she, you like school, right? Like right now. <laughs> I'm in the middle of myself. But I should be checking, but I don't do Oh, y'all do have a game today, huh? Yep, when I lose. Oh, Lord. You're just not positive about that right now. <laughs> Let your mouth hit Miss Carr said your curls are popping. There you go, Mama. Pop. Let me see what Alicia wants. You go ahead, finish talking Pop. for a second. Miss Marilyn said, hello. Yours. I'm putting a little salt. I already tasted. I put a little salt I added to my soup. And a little uh, black pepper. Everybody's doing fine, and, and like I always say, I, I would like to meet different people, honestly. Maybe one day, you know, we'll be able to meet together. Because I told uh, Risa I would like to meet her and her family, and, and Evelyn, and Jennifer, and I would like to meet Tiana's grandma. So and cream ray so i'm making my little list that that gonna be my wishes that i will i will meet y'all and say to jay i would like to meet y'all so if god will and i'm praying that one day you know i will be able to meet up with y'all so and my suit my suit coming on real nice y'all so i'm glad of that To come back and talk a real bit. But I'm still not leaving out of kitchen. She can make some comments. Miss Patricia says she's trying to get to Mississippi. She got a cousin in Biloxi. Oh, well, that's. <clears throat> and Miss Stephanie. Miss Stephanie, because I do not want to say your last name wrong, said, Hey, I watch you and the family from Miami, Florida. Me and my daughter, Sophia, we love you guys. I will definitely travel to meet you. Thank you so much. Okay, Miami. I want to go three, where you at. Three, but look at that three cities away from us. Yeah. Miss Stephanie, we want to come where you at. We in Pastor Stain. And I love you and your daughter. It's Pastor Stain, Long Beach, Gulf Coast, and Biloxi. Hey, Mr. B. Tell Miss Stephanie hello and Mr. B hello, mother. Hello. And... Miss Kim said, bye everybody, I gotta go. Well, everyone, I gotta go to the grocery store. I love you, Mama Margaret, and much love to the crew. We love well, you, too. Thank you for dropping in. And Miss Margaret Wells says, good evening, everyone. Good evening, Miss Margaret. 
Yeah. I'm behind the camera. I'm right here behind the camera. That's me. Hey, Maria. I would definitely meet the family. I live 45 minutes from Biloxi. Okay, you in Alabama, right? And I'm always in Diablville. That's where my... <coughs> <coughs> That's where my friend lives at. He in Diablville. Miss Marilyn said, Mom, Marvelous, get used to the camera. I am so happy because I am shy myself. Love the whole family. We love you too. Yeah, she's she's getting comfortable with it. She is. Yeah, at first I was yeah, I mean I was shy, but now I'm open. I <laughs> then I gotta watch what I say. Yes, Lord. Oh, baby girl, you ride in mobile. I girl, mean, we can jump bad, from each other. I gotta watch what I throw out there, you know. Aaron, you in Memphis, Tennessee? What you say? Miss Aaron Loveless, I did not know you're Memphis. She said, hey, Alicia and Mama Margaret. I love watching both of your channels. Do you follow Candy Pooh, Miss um, Marilyn? Because you know she's in Memphis. Let's see, Miss B say hello, Alicia, to the crew. How you doing today, Mr. B? Anybody we miss? Miss Tuesday said we'd love to visit there. I'm in Kentucky and I moved here from Florida. Okay. And we would love to have you visit. If y'all remember, what's that last Thanksgiving? What's that? That was what was that last Thanksgiving? Well, Thanksgiving, Thanksgiving, Thanksgiving before last. Thanksgiving um before last. well, I don't want to say one of our I don't want to, because I do not call none of you guys subscribers. Y'all our crew, y'all our family. And I had met my other mama, Margaret, if y'all remember, I met her through YouTube, and I found her through Candace like four years ago. And she came no, here no, and met no, us. No. This Thanksgiving will be two years. And she, um, <laughs> she came and we had a great time. That's when mama got stuck up under the Christmas tree. Yeah, y'all remember that? <laughs> And she had a great time. And I got stuck up on the Christmas tree. Miss Patricia said, how is the college babies doing? Tell Philip he's just like my grandbabies. They my joy. Oh, I sure will, Miss Patricia. And Alicia's on the phone now. She's live on um, FaceTime with Reontae. She's listening to us. She said she's supposed to be tailgating. Yeah, I can hear you. She said normally they, the rest of the kids are tailgating, but she's in her room. Okay, Miss Marilyn. Destiny, like, okay, yeah, I know Destiny as well. Yeah, both of them are, yeah, they both from Memphis. Yeah, Candy Poo, I, she was one of the reasons that I actually started vlogging, because I watched her, like, <coughs> I think I watched her, like, three years before I even started vlogging. And she was, yeah, she was one of the um, ones that got me starting to want to vlog, and then I met Risa through Candace. Cara said her dad is in Alabama. Okay, Miss Wanda Walker said she lives in Memphis, Tennessee, and she follows her candy pool. I'm originally from Jackson, and I've only been living in Memphis for one year now. We love you too, Miss Wanda. My daughter is up your way. She's at Mississippi College. Well, from where you from. She's she in Mississippi College. Look, so she might have to come up to Memphis one day, y'all, and get her a meal. Because she close to y'all, too. <laughs> well, Alicia said she got followed by an old man yesterday, y'all. Hey, Sherry and Ricky. There go your oh, Sherry hey. and Ricky. Hey, Miss Vanessa. I was looking for a nighttime live with y'all with Sherry and Ricky. I don't know if y'all came on or not, because I might I, I might have went to sleep because I had so much cold medicine. <laughs> I might have went to sleep, but when I came on this morning to, to uh, check it, I didn't Hold see on, it. Miss Patricia, bless you, Alicia. Miss Patricia said she laughed at Mama Margaret under the tree. <laughs> she said it was fun to look at beautiful family that do the right that do things together. Yes, ma'am. We just have a lot of fun. And Miss Vanessa Lee said hi, ladies. Sending love from New York. How you doing, Miss Vanessa? And Miss Selena Thomas said, I want to thank, I, but I want to visit your town. What hotel would you suggest? I'm from Baltimore, and I come to the South. Huh? 
What you suggest, Alicia? Now, the kids will be quick to tell you a casino hotel. Um, I would say like the Marriott or something like that. But anything off the beach would be really good. Oh, yeah, we do have hotels right down the street from us. I don't know the prices of them, but I can check them out and find out for you. And we ride across from the beach. So that's from Miss Selena. And Miss Lynette want to know what we cooking for Sunday dinner. The same soup we having today, Miss Lynette. That's what they eat tomorrow. Focus thoughts that peace, love, and blessings. Our family in New York. To your family, continue the great vlogs. Thank you so much. Yeah, we have leftover. We have leftover soup tomorrow because that we haven't been. In, we going to church in the game. The Saints gonna come on. What? Oh, what time we playing tomorrow? Tomorrow evening. We play tomorrow. Okay. Sherry, oh, Sherry said, um, hey, Mama Margaret, hon, no, I'm sick again. She got a bad UTI. Oh, Sherry, Ricky. Mm -hmm. And how how is Sheba doing? They can hear. How is Sheba doing? I know y'all getting ready for y'all uh, birthday bash in October. With all y'all birthdays together, Sheba and Ricky and your birthday. So... Miss Selena, um, when you see Mama Four and down there, that's Car. She says she stayed at the Comfort Inn in Moss Point when she came down, and her family is from here. That's the one that was here with us last year when we had that meeting greet. And she heard say she's still a mess and still a diva. <laughs> As Ebony said, "Yes, ma'am, staying blessed and moving in a positive direction." We have to be, cause there's so much negativity out here in the world. And even on YouTube, man, I see so much mess coming along my suggestions, and I just got to block it out because these people. Down here. Oh. Down here. Did you time yours? Uh, oh, Lord, let me take it out. It's hot. <laughs> it was frozen. And y'all know I don't ever sit there and drag no YouTubers. But some of this stuff I be seeing on YouTube, I'm like, why, Lord? Why? Why? They be showing all they body. Huh? Alicia talking to me, y'all, but I can't hear what saying. I just had to beat that pile. She said, no one's her. Do what? No one's her. Oh, no one's me. Alicia said, nobody's mean up there at her college. Everybody is nice, and it weirds, it weirds her out. She's at a For Christian now. college. No, that, that guy that I met yesterday that was in the Navy, that was up there at the park, he said that's how that college is because he graduated there and he was like, everybody up there nice. But it's kind of like being around them people at Chick-fil-A when they just sometimes too nice. Hey, she said stop talking. I said that whenever I walk down the street literally people will like hug me and I'm like, oh, yeah, I'm Cara said, YouTube is always going through changes. Did you see starting next year? If you have kids, your channel can't be monetized. What? Well, look, I'm going to tell you. Some of them videos with them people that got kids shouldn't be having their kids on the video. Because it's like, whoo. And she said, YouTube got sued for the apps that were playing in the video geared towards kids. Well, that's wow. just some of them people that be on there like that. That's all. Right. Because it's a way you can have your kids on there. And it be a... Because that's the thing of family vlogs. You have family vlogs, your children are going to be on Well, there. I heard somebody say that you ain't going to be able to make no comment no more. Right. Is that true? I don't know. I've heard people yeah. told me that, too. That the comment section is going to be blocked for everybody. So, I don't know. Thank you, Miss Sherry. She said she's not going to take it bad for other Right. And I guess what it can be, Car, like if you have your kids in that particular vlog, they won't monetize it. And that's sad because it's like then it won't be a family vlog, you know? Because that's, right. that's my whole reason for vlogging, my family. You know, I don't want to just come on and vlog by myself. We about family. But yeah, YouTube, and it's not YouTube 
people are messing it up. <laughs> and you two got to do what they got to do because they tired of being sued. Like Carl said, they tired of it. And then some of this mess that's out there, Lord, have mercy, Jesus. Whew. I be wondering how they feel. You're so much And a few of you guys, and I'm going to answer this while we live too. A few of you guys was asking if I'm still single. Yes, I'm still single. <laughs> I am not dating anyone. I am not looking to date anyone. Like I said before in my video, that when God brings the person in my life that he has for me, it's when I'm going to accept it. But I'm not rushing nothing. I'm just enjoying my life and getting closer in my spirit and faith and just and loving me. Girl, yes, Miss Queen, that is the Edwards Pecan Pie. Yes, it is. Oh, Alicia said she's dating y'all. <laughs> Cara said, uh, oh, I know that's right. Um, Cara said she's not taking her kids off of YouTube. I'm lucky they didn't disable my comments, but if they do, people just gonna have to connect with me on Instagram. Exactly. Because that's the whole I'm thing. About you. If comments are blocked, it's no longer a community. And you're right. And that's sad. Carl, when are you putting up a rubber call and we are going back to the free mall? I'm back. And I'm better than ever. So, bye. Yeah. And you're right. You two will have to balance it. But, and I, I'm telling y'all, if, if y'all see, and I know y'all have to see what us YouTube will see in suggestions. It's And it's like... Those channels are the channels. I guess like that young lady said that my channel isn't growing fast because she's probably looking at those drama channels and those reaction channels because those channels are like they go from 2,000 subscribers to 10 and 20 within months. But those are drama and reaction channels. And I don't have one of those. I don't so my thing is, if I if I stay where I'm at right now for the next three years, all my life, I will be happy. Because I'm not going to change who I am or my dynamics just to get to 10K. Because what God has for me, He has for me. And yeah, you're not trying to get to 35 or 40K. How do you spell the I don't know. She's going to have to Google it. Right. And that's the thing, because it, it does come with more. I mean, everybody wants to grow. That's the whole point. You know, you want to grow in everything that you do, whether it's YouTube, your job, whatever. You want to grow in life. Um, but not, y'all know what I mean. Like, everything can't be about money. It can't. And everything will not be about fame, period. Because um, I see him, hey, Sharon's, because I see, like I said, a lot of these big YouTubers, that group so quick and they doing all this drama y'all know what they got to deal with like they get talked about on every social media platform they got this thing called lipstick alley or something i've never been on it so i can't tell y'all what it is i've just heard of it from other youtubers and they talk about them they talk about their kids they give out their addresses they give out their phone numbers um and i don't want that like a lot of people might have like 38,000, 38, uh, you know, subscribers, but they might have like about, what, 2,000 watches? That watch, right. Because I see a lot of people, because like with Risa, Risa has way more subscribers than I have. And some of our videos have the same amount of views. Uh -huh. So it's like everybody that subscribes to you is not going to watch you. You know, so it's, like she said, it's all got to be a balance. Yeah. And Miss Queen Chelsea said, do you YouTubers get more money when the followers watch the ads all the way through? I always skip the ads, but should I watch the whole ad? No, you don't have to watch the whole ad. I don't watch the whole ads. They tell you to watch the first, I think, 10 seconds or something, or 5 seconds, something like that. But I'm going to tell you, and I'm going to be honest, we're going to talk and tell you. Us YouTubers do not... You see people that will put sometimes 10, 15 ads in a vlog. All of them ads are not going to show. The more ads you have, the more money YouTube going to take out your check. And they're a business, so they're going to take their money out. I found out yesterday that, like right now, I'm live, and I don't have my, what is that, that pop-up? I'm asking, like, you know, if to, well, people can give you money, whatever it's called. 
I don't have that active. I have the, I can, but I don't have it active because for one, I don't want anybody doing nothing for me. Y'all do enough because y'all love us, watch and support us. And that's what I want. That's all I want from you guys. Um, but if people send you stuff, YouTube take, think, a, they take a 20% of whatever it is. So if you send somebody 50, they can take up to $25 of your money that someone sent you. That's why you hear a lot of people say, if you want to send me anything, send it on Cash App or PayPal. Because if you send it through YouTube, they're going to take it, just like they do with your money. Um, some people say the more subscribers you get, the more money you make. I don't know that to be true because my subscriber count just got to 6,000 6, and I can get between 1,000 up to two and 2,500 on some of my videos and my money that I make every month have increased over the last year. So I, I can tell y'all this, I'm doing well enough to pay my bills with my YouTube channel. Um, but I can't speak to any other channel because I don't know how it goes. With, um, so I don't know. Um, I can tell y'all one big YouTuber that I watch and meet her and I are real close. I'm not going to share her name because I don't want to share the business part of it. But I know she has over 35,000 subscribers. And she can get between 2,000 to 10,000 views. A year ago, she used to make anywhere up to $900 a month. Now it does. She does it. Now she can make between five to six hundred because they take more out of her money. And that came out of her mouth. Um, so I don't know. Like I said, I don't know. That's it. The super chat. So um, I don't know if they just taking more money out now or what. I don't know. Um, yeah, that's it. That's the super chat. Um, wow. See, that's why I say, um, thank you, too. See, we enjoying it, too. Right. And you're right. They do have some people who have a whole lot. Because like me and Mama was saying, like with Risa, she got a whole bunch of subscribers. But in her her views, she she can get 2003 and then some she can get ten or 12 It just depends. Um, and I think this is a thing you're really never going to really figure out. Even like with the big gamers, if y'all look, and they in the millions. But they don't have as many views as they subscribe account. So I guess people just choose to watch what they want. But, um, and I think that's what a lot of people look at. They be like, your channel ain't growing because you still at 6,000. But that doesn't mean your channel not growing. You have to look at your views. You know, YouTube don't care how many subscribers you got. They looking at your views because they get paid by your views. And like I said, YouTube's a business. Hey, Miss Angela, how you doing? It's good to see you, too. I'm glad to be on here live. Mama cook. <laughs> and you know what I'm saying on these, huh? Yes. You see, we still got our, our um, this thing, and you see, we still had this. And our... Uh, uh, she said she's doing well. I think the other one was in that cabinet. The little small cutting mat. Yeah. Damn. She says she's doing well, Mom. Sherry. Sherry says she's needing help with watch time. I'm glad you got to 2K. Congratulations. And I know it's frustrating sometimes because it's like your subscriber count do build up. But you be like, where's the people? Because like with Brittany. I love Brittany. That is my girl. Like me and Brittany been riding this YouTube train for some years. And I know she'll say that sometimes. Because, and I think Brittany just got over 7,000. And sometimes she'll be at 500. Sometimes it can be 6. Sometimes it can be 7. And she's an incredible mom. So if y'all not following her, her channel is Life, of, Life as Brittany. And it's her and her two kids. And she's an amazing single mom. She's not married yet. She lives with her daughter's, um, her baby girl's father. She worked full time and do YouTube. And it's like, it's sad because you'll be wondering, like, where are the people? Like, they come on and they subscribe, but then they don't watch. Oh, you love, you know, Brittany. So, you know, you know, baby girl, you know what I'm talking about. And it's like, I be feeling so bad. You know, I really do because it's like, I, she is an awesome woman. 
And it's like she put her videos up. And you be like, what more can I do? You know, but I'm going to tell y'all the God honest truth. Housewife 256 said, tell your mom she's truly a blessing to me. Keep cooking. <laughs> And I'm going to tell y'all, a lot of times it does discourage us when it, it gets to like, you get to a point that you feel like you at a standstill. Um, but I think that's with every business. But then we see these other YouTubers that's nothing but drama and they lie and they clickbait <laughs> and they make up stories. You know, y'all know what I'm saying. They make up stories to put out here and then they be lying about everything. And those are the people whose channels are blowing up. But like people say, drama sell, sex sell. But I'm not going to sell drama. And I'm not going to sell sex. I'm not selling my body for YouTube. I'm not selling my soul uh, or heart to the devil. You know, so I'm going to just keep doing what I'm doing. And Sherry, you do it too. Keep doing what you're doing. Keep vlogging. Um, you know, try to switch up and do some day vlogs as well. Um. Whatever you enjoy doing, just do that. Because you will find people who are going to love you for you. But the one thing I can tell you, and I know you can't see me. Like I said, I'm sitting back here reading the comments. Um, if Just keep being you. And that's all you can do. Do not try to be like another YouTuber because it's not going to work. And just stay authentic to who you are. And people who love you are going to be there and stick around for you. And they don't like none of that drama. They're not on blame. Right. And we and all of us are in one accord for that. And Selena said on YouTube, do you know people who unsubscribe to you subscribe to your channel? Um, listen, Tamita said she can use some soup right now, Mama Margaret. <laughs> um, I know I wish we. You come by and show what fix a, a good <laughs> Um, no, Selena, we can't. I know somebody said it's an app that you can see who unsubscribes. You get notifications when people subscribe to you. But I don't get a notification if they unsubscribe. Um, but I can tell you this. <laughs> a lot of people who, who are not subscribed, if people who subscribe and then unsubscribe, they still watch you. And they be mad at you and be like, yeah, I'm unsubscribing. Right. They be like, I'm unsubscribing you. Down. <laughs> but they still watch you because they want to be nosy and see what you're doing. And they'll they'll be quick to give you a thumbs down. Because that video that I put up before my haul, when I was just letting y'all know, hey, we're going to be live today. We're going to be cooking. And I got a grocery haul. As soon as I put that video up, I got a thumbs down. They didn't even know what the video was about. And it does not hurt us. It does not hurt well, us that financially. Thumb, that thumb down not show not hurting me at all. Mm -mm. But I don't feel it. Uh -uh. And then YouTube-wise, they look at the reaction um, and the interaction. So just say if I have 147 thumbs up and I have four to five thumbs down, the most I usually get is six. And that's on my grocery hauls. But those same six people watch every grocery haul I put up. And my thing is, if you don't like me, why are you still watching my grocery hauls? But they low-key like you. They just unhappy with themselves for whatever reason. But they still watch. Um, and like I said, a thumbs up and thumbs down, it's not going to affect your money. It's not going to affect your recommendations or none of that. YouTube just want to see interactions. They thumbs it down, they still watch it, you know. Well, thank you, Sherry. We love y'all, too. Yeah. And I'm glad we live so I can talk about all this and don't I'm have waiting, to do I'm waiting for y'all to put up a grocery haul, uh, Sherry. Let's see, Sarita said, Alicia, sometimes it's too much and plus it's just for entertainment only. None of that stuff is real. You right. And that's the thing. And that's, that's the thing with Family vloggers, and sometimes you got to watch with family vloggers because they be putting stuff on their channel that ain't real and you know it's not. But you know the authentic people because they stay true the entire time they vlog. Um, and then like the people who started off being real and authentic and then they changed, it's because their channel was at a standstill and they didn't know what to do. So they started watching YouTube. That's, you know, what's trending on YouTube. And then they started doing it. Like Okay, Sherry, y'all going tomorrow, Monday. Okay, I'll be watching for y'all, girlfriend. 
Yeah, Tamita, you right. You would think we all here to be encouraged, teach an encouragement to each other. But sadly, it's not for everybody. You know what I'm saying? Like everybody doesn't think that way. Um I used to watch a few of the ladies, and like so I'm not gonna say neither one of these ladies' names, but I used to watch them when they first started off. But now the stuff that they're doing is ridiculous. Yes, they channels have grown. One of them just hit a hundred K. Okay, mom four. I wanna see your broken haul. <laughs> And the other one... I'm going to be watching for it. I think the other one's at 75K and the other one's at 35. But the stuff they're putting on their channel, it's like they faking pregnancy tests, they um, faking abortions, and they doing all of this stuff in front of their kids. It's like, it's just ridiculous. Um, and they doing stuff for views. And it's like, I can't never see myself doing that just to get more views. Yeah, your YouTube money going to be bigger, but you really want to sell yourself like that because your kids are being affected. And that's one thing. I'm going to always protect my kids, whether off or on YouTube. And I just said, I would never just be one of them YouTubers. YouTube, Google can contact me one day and be like, look, we need you to put this and this and this up or we shut your channel down. Shut my channel down because I'll go to Instagram. But I'm not selling my soul for that. Yeah. I'm glad that y'all taking y'all time out for what y'all were doing to come on and look at Alicia and I live. I mean, she told me that we were going to come on live with the soup. And I prayed. I said, oh, I hope I don't be coughing and going on. So I, I did good. But I, I probably start tonight because look at nighttime. That's when it, it's getting at nighttime. Yeah, and I can't, and I know her channel now, yeah, because I know at one time it was Life is Britney, The Life of Britney. I know Britney like I do. We change our channel names a lot. Uh, and I agree with you, Cara. You do, you have to stop watching them channels. Um, Alicia, please keep the grocery haul coming because I have learned so many products from you, girl. I like you because you are not cheap and show me good products. Thank you. Girl, no, I'm cheap. I'm plain girl. Look, I'm cheap. No, I'm a frugal. I'm a frugal shopper. And I like to bulk buy because when I go to Sam's and can bulk buy, it's actually cheaper going to Sam's buying some things. Now they meat is not, but they chicken like they frozen chicken. And you know, bulk items, you don't have to go back for the next month. Miss Wanda said, you are welcome, Mama Margaret. And Tamita said, if you are going to be on here, just let the Lord use you, guys, and ask him to lead and guide your ideas and stay real before the people. And that's me. And Tamita, I don't know if y'all remember, I had did a vlog a couple of months back. It, I could have been about two months ago. It was during the summer. And I had said that everything I put up, I pray about it before I post it. And that is no lie. That is all my life. Every single vlog, haul, chit chat, ride with me that I do, I pray before I vlog and I pray after. And if I if I'm editing and I get a feeling like I don't want to put this up, a lot of times I don't. And like I say, sometimes it really is because I just get stuck in my own way. And Mama tell me, girl, don't do that because I know that it's all genuine. And I'm not perfect. None of us are. But I'm just a family. I, we love our family and we who we are, you know. I watch you mostly when I'm at work on home from yelling at one of them insurance companies for a denied claim. Girl, look, I understand. I did that from home and Lord Jesus. And I, want, I should get back into it since I'm back at the house now. One time somebody had made a comment to me, asked me why I don't. Uh, Wanda, what you say, Miss Wanda? <laughs> Miss Wanda said she cheeked too. Miss Aretha, what you say? You better uh, speak sixty thousand. I know that, right? Why I don't go for shop? I used to go for shop all the time. I used to go to the store by myself and go shop in. Mm -hmm. But when when I started when I started getting sick and and uh, my sickness was getting to me, and, and when I had that mini stroke, it looked like it, it did something to me. And so I let her, I let her shop. I go with her, but I let her do the the majority of things. Mm -hmm. But 
I'll be in the store with her. Y'all see me in the store with her sometimes. But uh, it's something I got to a point now that I, I came through like I used to do. Mm, yep. But she be with me, y'all. Baby girl said, I love watching your channel because you are real and you remind me so much of my family. That's it. Because there's still a lot of us left out here that really just love God and love wholesome family. Cooking, laughing, and having yeah. fun. You know. Sherry said, be careful of them cosmic brownies. Alicia, they are finding worms in them. Girl, please don't oh, tell me my. that. You gonna have... Please don't. I'm yeah, not what? saying in them brownies I bought today. Oh. Chelsea said she worked that. for a group of kidney doctors. You know, I used to do dialysis. Um, I used to be a dialysis nurse. And Lord have mercy. Yeah, I loved it. I miss it. I wish I could go back and do it. Housewife256 said, I want to start a YouTube channel. Oh, she want to start a YouTube channel, but she sees so much foolishness going on. I, do, I don't understand why black people got to tell each other, girl, look, it, that, and that's... You said you said it all. Yeah. And that's in family, on the job. And YouTube is like a job. That's on your job. Exactly. That's family, everybody. And I know, I know I have different races on here. And I can't speak for no other race. Well, we do have white in our family. <laughs> but I'm saying because I'm I'm still black. I don't care. I'm exactly. I'm black, right? I'm saying this as a, a woman of color. We are the first to tear each other down. We women, we will tear each other down so quick. We'll be so jealous of each other instead of uplifting each other. That's why y'all hear me. I'm shouting out people. I'm doing on my community posts. I'm always sharing other channels. I'm talking about other channels because I'm never going to get anywhere where God needs me to be if I'm tearing somebody else down because what's for you is for you and nobody can't take that from you. I'm looking forward to the day my kids to run dance, especially now that one of them had their driver's permit. What you say? One more got his permit, girl. And I'm girl, glad. congratulations. I'm glad everybody gave me the opportunity to come, you know, to comment. Because I had asked, you know, is, is it a problem if I come, you know, if I'm commenting too much and everybody said, no, we know. Your comments, my, uh, you know, my mom, and, and that's just something I love, you know. And I'm not gonna make no, no uh, bad uh, comment or you know right. try to stop stuff because I'm not that kind of person. Mm -hmm. No, that's just not us. We, we not I make good comments, <laughs> yeah. comments, and and I always say I, you know, I love y'all, and I call mm -hmm. everybody my girl, and I hope nobody don't say I ain't no girl. But that what I that what I just call everybody my girl. Yeah. You right, Chelsea. I'm, a, I'm you know my girls. Yeah, Chelsea, you are so right. Yeah, them dialysis patients. That's what made me wanted to be a dialysis nurse because my stepdad, I seen what he went through, and I used to drop him off at dialysis and pick him up. And Lord, how I seen how it took him and took him out this world. A uh, year after he passed, I went to school for it. And then I worked in it for two years and got sick and couldn't do it anymore. But, Lord, it's sad. It is. Well, y'all pray for me because last time I went to my doctor and they did a blood work, they said my kidneys was on a uh, borderline. So, y'all, you know, y'all pray for me. So, when I go back in December, you know, it'll be up. It'll be better than what it is. So, I've been drinking a whole lot of cram, uh, apple juice, berry juice, and a lot of water, so. Carl said, I thank you, my Margaret, for your sweet comments. Thank you. You know, I had, you remember I told you, I had somebody actually tell me that she was unsubscribing to me because I disrespected her by calling her sweetheart. And I told her, I said, well, God bless you. I'm so sorry. I don't mean anything sexually when I call anybody anything. I don't mean to disrespect anybody. I still say miss to a lot of you guys. Y'all be like, if you would stop calling me miss, we the same age. That's just how I was brought up. And then we say that. It's just like terms of endearment. Hey, honey. Hey, sweetie. Hey. That's right. We speak to each other ten times if you pass down our street. Walk down our street. <laughs> and we will, every time you come down 
down our street driving a walker, we gonna speak. That's just how it is. Yeah, like, like right. Just like uh, Risa calls out her thing. She said, "Buy sugar," which is nothing wrong. Mm -hmm. Wrong with that. At least we not calling y'all out, y'all right. man. And I think she, and I don't want to say she was from up north because a lot of people up north still do it. But I did have someone up north tell me that they don't, they don't hear that often because she was like, "Well, she lived." People walk down the street and look at you crazy if you speak to them. And I understand that because it's just different demographics. But it's like, here, child, we'll speak to you, T. I had people call me. <laughs> to you me. all day. Excuse me. I had people call me. Honey buns, cinnamon roll, or sweetie pie. Or, I, mean, I mean, that's good. At least they're not calling me out of my name. Carl, Carl said, Carly calls everybody girl. I have to tell her, little girl, that's a lady. She too young to be calling her <laughs> eldest girl. And I understand that. And Because um, sometimes Philip will slip and say, he be like, girl, did you hear? Because that's how he do with his siblings. And I be like, what did you say? And he be like, oh, I'm sorry. Let's see. Well, see, on this YouTube channel, I call, oh, that's my girl. Because they call me mama. Right. Mama. So I say, well, that's my girl, you know. Oh, thank you, Tamita. Miss Ella says she hope your kidneys get better. Just yeah. being family. Hey, babe. I didn't even see y'all come in here. <laughs> I'm sorry. I didn't come in sometime. Be strolling. Mm. The name calling is a southern thing. There's nothing wrong with it. It's just us referring to you as family. I call people sweetheart, baby, honey. It's just what we do. Right. Alicia, you just have... Alicia, I have to say that you are a very strong woman to see all the things you're going through and keep pushing. God got you, Mama Margaret, in the name. Oh, yeah. We go through. And I know we all go through stuff. We do. Housewife said, I'm so sorry about the other race. But tell your mom, I have two strokes. I had two strokes in 2016. And I went down for a minute, but I fought back, and I had to get on my knees and pray when my husband was asleep. Oh, yeah. Honey, you look, you have to. Yeah. Yeah. Because I had, a, I had a struggle with, with, with my husband and my mother. They, you know, it's they got real down, and I had to take care of them. And I was sick. But God, you know, he brought me through. Dear heart. You know, it really helped <laughs> Like I did. Mm. And yeah. then I helped Bisha when she was going through her, her struggle. So I say, the Lord got me strong. You, even yeah. though if I do have, you know, issues, but the Lord is still keeping me strong. And I'm not, you know, I'm not going to give up. That's mm. the wrong thing to do, give up. Mm. And I get, some people tell me sometimes, you don't look like your situation. And you know what I say? God be the glory. <laughs> because I thank him. You know, I do. I And I give all that. I give it to God. Because people really don't know. And that's all of us. People can never tell what you go through by looking at your face. Because I was, and I know a lot of you guys know this, but when I was, got pregnant with Elijah, Elijah is 18. Now, when I found that I was pregnant for her, I found that I had breast cancer. I fought through that twice. When I got pregnant for Philip, I found that I had thyroid cancer. I fought through that. And then Philip ended up with stomach cancer. Alicia was going through it and issues with her stomach bleeding and her colon and depression because she tried to kill herself. So through me being sick, Philip being sick, and Alicia dealing with depression, I was fighting that the whole time. Once we finally got a gap from that, my mama got sick, and then I got sick again. And we get days that we like, oh, why me? But I have learned to say, why not me? Yeah. And, and this hurt me. This last, and I'm going to be honest, this last bout of me getting back, because I've been back on this chemo medicine now three weeks. It, I got a, I got a bad, had a bad lupus flare. I ended up getting a rash on my face and my back. That's why I couldn't go to work. I got back on the chemo medicine, lost my hair again. <laughs> Everything else was just happening. I knew my body was shutting down. I was having chest pains. Like, I was going through some stuff. But I never told my mama. To this day, I didn't tell my mama. Um, she would hear if the, one of the kids was like, well, how you doing? Oh, my chest hurting a little bit. But everything that I was going through, I didn't tell her other kids. Because I don't want them feeling sorry for me. 
I don't want them hurting for me, you know. Um, I still get up in the morning, 5.15, 5.30, bring Rayante to work. I can be in pain, but I get up and do it. I come back home. I get in my prayer um, closet. My mama came in there one day. She said, Alicia, can I ask you a question? What did you say, mama? Why is you laying on that flow, huh? And I know it may look weird to some people, but that's, that's my peace. When I get in that closet... And my door closed, I can pray, yell, scream. And I got to thank my sister Cecilia for that. Because she was like, girl, you need to get you in a prayer closet or in a corner and just give everything to God. And I did that before. I did it before about two years ago after all that stuff happened with me and Kenny. But I think my faith was growing, but I wasn't where I'm at now. And it's like the closer you get to God, the more things is gonna happen, the more obstacles gonna get in your way. But and it's hard. That's why I said in that video, being submissive to God. Oh Lord have mercy. I, I never. Mm, mm, mm. I I don't know if y'all seen that video. Hello, Miss Stephanie. How you doing? And I'm a person that I I'm not a complaining person. If somebody asks me how. How you doing? I, I say, love you, Miss Patricia. I, say, I, tell him, I say, well, I'm doing pretty good. I thank God, you know. I woke up this morning. Mm -hmm. But some people, oh my, you Ooh, ask them, Ms. they Mary. gotta go. They gotta go to the child. And I'm gonna show you what I they know say. That's right, Tamita. Child, my toe hurt me so bad. I don't know what to do. Right. Or child, I. Oh, I'm so glad you did my too, Miss Stephanie. Hurt me so bad in my bum. Mm -hmm. I mean, child is and child mm -hmm. and I look at that people. You know, they bedridden. They they wish that they can get up in the morning. Some people can't talk. Some people just complain to be complaining. But I thank God for my complaints. I thank God for my non-complaints. Hey, and Devil, I, I thank God too. for my pains. I thank God for my no pain at all. So that's me. <laughs> Mr. Lena, I know that's right. You just miss it sometimes. You miss those good morning, good evening, hellos. And you know, it's, I'm telling y'all, it's just this life. Whew. And I know people sometimes when I put videos up and I'm talking about God, I don't get a lot of views. And I've noticed that. When I do any kind of testimony videos, I don't get a whole lot of views. And it's okay because if I get if I get one, I touch one person. If I get 200, 500, I touch those people in one way or another. Uh, Imani said, what a treat. Hi, Mama Morgan and Alicia. Hey, Nicole. Girl, I didn't know you were still on here. How long have we been on? <laughs> um, two hours. <laughs> And Nicole knows she's a testament to me too. I tell her that all the time. My strength comes from her too. Because her and I met over here on YouTube when she was going through her issues with her kids. Yeah, you're doing that soup. Oh, thank you, Miss Stephanie. Well, I hope I ain't uh, boring anybody. Oh, housewife, you have thyroid problems too. And I know what you go through with that. Because I have lupus and Graves disease. And my heart is, is now damaged because of it. Oh, thank you, Miss Patricia. What reality shows do I like to watch? I watch Basketball Wives. Um. <laughs> oh, sometimes I don't watch like love and hip hop stuff like that, but I watch Housewives. Um, yes, I watch Housewives of Atlanta because I like Candy. I I really do. She's she's the one that I connect with the most. I watch Basketball Wives, and and then I think it's called um Love and Marriage. It's Huntsville, Alabama, or something. It's the one that Oprah Winfrey on her on own. Um, I watch that. Yeah, I like to watch stuff like that. I don't like to really watch a lot of stuff with a lot of cussing and stuff in it, just because that's just where I'm at in my life now. But like I said, I really watch, I like to watch Candy on Housewives, because I love how she's family oriented. But when it get crazy, I'll turn that off. Because you know, we all need a little drama, but that's 
pretty much it. But I just love to watch TV. I love watching my TV. But I love Hallmark. Um, I do watch Tyler Perry stuff, but I like his plays. Now, my mama watched, what is it, mama? Yeah. Have and have nots and stuff. I watched that when it first started, but y'all, Tyler Perry went real left the last two seasons with killings and when the little boy got killed, I just couldn't no more. I, I would ask my mama, like, what happened? But she liked it. But sometimes them sex scenes be kind of like pornish to me. <laughs> and I be like, oh, no, that's way too much. I'm like, oh, my God, I think. BET hers. Amani, I have room to talk otherwise. It's a struggle. Yes, it is. Oh, I like HG. Yeah, I like HGTV too. Yes, Huntsville, Alabama. Yes. So you know that one. Um, Power. I used to watch Power when it first came out, and I'm not bougie or one of them Sabini type Christians. Please don't think that. But it's just I don't know. It's something about now. Power is one of them that I can watch, but I get certain episodes I just choose not to. Um, but like I said, I'm not one of them that's too good not to. I would watch Power before I watch Have and Have Not. That may seem a little weird. But I guess because I just kind of look at 50 Cent, like 50 Cent was 50 Cent, so it's not far from him. But Tyler Perry started off with plays and Medea plays and all of that. So seeing him going from that to killing and letting little kids be killed, it's a lot for me, you know. Oh, yeah, Christmas time, Hallmark. Mm. Oh, yeah, they're showing the Christmas stuff now. Oh yeah, that Imani, that she's right. To me, this right. That's all you can do, cause that leg pain, pain, pain period, any kind of pain, chest pain, leg pain, back pain, it does not matter. You just gotta pray on everything. Pray on it. Both of my legs are hip. Be hurting me so bad at night. Feel like I'm not getting no mm -hmm. circulation, and I, I be shaking, and, and I be rubbing. I say, Lord, please remove this pain. Mm -hmm. And people will say, y'all be talking about pray on it, but it don't seem to be happening quick. But look, let me tell you, <laughs> you you say that if you want to. Because, honey, I, I can't do nothing but pray. Because sometimes you do. You hurt so bad, it's from the inside out, and you want to cut your own legs off. But I say, I'm on this side of heaven. I wake up every day, and I'm on this side of heaven. And like my mama say, I'm not bedridden. Because when I get on bed rest, y'all... <laughs> Last time I was on bed rest, I was on bed rest for three weeks. And I was about plead for God to call me home. Because I was in so much pain, I couldn't take it no more. But God said it wasn't my time. He got something else for me here. Yep. Stephanie, you right. And God will do it. God will do okay, it. Okay, man. Uh, you come to get in my oh, yes, up to my uh, suit. Yep, God will do it. And I think sometimes we want him to do it in our time, right? <laughs> this is a close up to my soup, y'all. I had some a few uh, noodles to it, spaghetti, and I put my potatoes in. See, I had my potatoes, so this is my vegetable soup, y'all. This is a version of my mother's vegetable soup. So I made a whole pot. Oh, I said, and it looks delicious, Mama. Oh yeah, it is. I love me some soup, and we do put noodles in ours because it just, it, you know, it just helps to fill you we, up. You know, we stretch it. Mm -hmm. So I wish, I wish all y'all <laughs> here, we can sit at that table and eat a, do us a, uh, we can call it a bang soup, <laughs> a bowl of soup, and we can all sit around this table and just talk, talk mm -hmm. our head off, y'all. Right. Oh, Miss Patricia, look, honey, I understand. I cry so much that my tears just dry up and I don't have them on. And I do that for my kids. You know, I was going through some stuff for a moment. And, honey, I told my mama, I said, Mama, I don't even know what to do no more. It's like the devil was just at war with stuff with my kids and I was going through my health issues. I'm telling you, I was just ready for him to have me come home. Like, just let me come home with you. Well, God went through pain and suffering, so why are we pain? Huh. To me, to say, send her a bowl to text. And the baby girl said, my mom, I need some. Car said, yummy. The stuff that it look good with a peanut butter sandwich. A peanut butter. You know, I've, I ain't going to say that because I've heard that before. I've heard of soup. 
vegetable soup with peanut so butter. With, uh, calm, right? Yeah, I'm gonna do some grilled cheese. Miss Carla practice. Jones said it's her bowl ready. <laughs> yeah. Well, her bowl is ready. Yes. Yeah. I just picture y'all when I when I get ready. I just picture all y'all here. Yeah. With us, yeah. Eating soup with me, okay? Yeah, we love us some soup, y'all. So I'm glad y'all are with us. I'm glad y'all came on live with us. And yeah, I gotta do my grilled that. cheese. Yeah, and that pasta too, what it does, it makes it stretch. And Nicole said she want her bowl too bad y'all can't send it over the internet. I know that's right, Nicole. I'm going to go visit Nicole, y'all. Y'all think I'm lying. Y'all going to see me one day up there in her area? Because me and her been through some stuff together with our help back and Where's forth. I can't tell you what. Oh, that's right, that's right. I can't tell you. She I'm might sorry, not want nobody. Erase, erase that. She erase might not want nobody to know. Erase, erase that. But, uh, she <laughs> she like, said, "Come on." Yeah, y'all. Erase that. Don't give y'all address nothing. But anyway, <laughs> anyway, we'll get we'll get up some. I ain't gonna say cones. Can we'll say it looks some great at the end pasta. She said, you can tell, I'll tell her off here, girl. <laughs> um, Miss Cynthia said, when we was in school, we had vegetable soup with PB&J P &P sandwiches. Like I said, I do remember hearing that. Now, we used to always do grilled cheese, because they just so country, yeah. Well, but, I yeah, crackers. I have heard that. Yeah, mama like crackers. I like to. Sometimes I break my little crackers up. I'm cooking chicken noodles. Sometimes soup. I just eat, eat the. Miss Deborah Robinson said, tell mama what Margaret that I'm cooking chicken noodles. Yeah, that's Soup. Everything looks delicious. Thank you. Oh, chicken noodle soup. I started to pick chicken noodle soup, but I say, no, I go next. Next time I do some uh, chicken soup. Yeah, Miss, um, yeah, Miss Tamita, Tamita, Miss, Miss Tamita said, Lord, that feel good going down your throat when you're not feeling your best homemade yeah. soup. Yeah, oh, yeah. Yeah. She gonna eat about 10 bowls. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's gonna, that's gonna loosen that, that hot uh, tomatoes. That brought that gonna loosen all this uh, mm. congestion. Y'all, I can't believe I got my mama live in here. But yeah, when we get ready to do our yeah, gumbo, Alicia gonna be down in two weeks for her fall break. So we're gonna do gumbo and we'll come back live. But next we gotta do, do that uh, blindfold make a burger for Reese since she done. Tag you. Yeah, I tell you, I'm gonna get Risa. I'm gonna text her and be like, "Girl, no, you didn't." Do we gotta eat the burger right after we fix it? Oh, she we had her. She, she had two, but I can't have no two burgers. Oh, I'll eat me two burgers. Yeah, I don't know, cause I be feeling like I had a mayonnaise all on a plate and not on the burger. Miss Redbird say, "Hey, mama." Well, hi, mama. Hey. So Risa. Yeah, her. Risa do. She need her. Own. She had her. She had her lettuce to. She had her lettuce, tomatoes, and pickles. Y'all eat cornbread? That's what mama said. Uh, cornbread with it. Ketchup and all that on hers. Miss Patricia says she do homemade soup and freeze it up. Oh, yeah, we did that before. Who, honey, when you defrosted them flavors and got together? Yeah. Well, we don't hardly be having it. Just me and family say I might have to come knock on your door for some of that soup. I'm right down the road. Honey, look, come on. Come on in. We're going to eat it together. And y'all think I be playing. I know people be like, yeah, you can't be telling people to come to your house. Honey, why not? Why not? We covered in the if blood, you, baby. If you, if you large in and faithful, you right. come to my house. That's right. That person, not saying sweetheart, no, it's offensive. Mama Morgan needs her own vlog. Girl, she do, but she ain't gonna do it. <laughs> she ain't gonna do it because she get them days like, I don't want to be on now. What you say, Miss Stephanie? That point, that that look. I'm telling you, when you covered in the blood, and they ain't finna, hmm, we good. <laughs> yeah, I love big family. That's why I had my children. I thank God. And when I was young, I said I wanted five kids. I wanted three girls and two boys, and that's what I got. I had six pregnancies. I lost my son, and then we had Phyllis. So God knew. No, I can't do my own law. Now I do one. If uh, when when we should go grocery shopping. And I'll come on and say, uh oh. <laughs> you come on and say, uh oh. <laughs> you finna cough. Mm -hmm. <coughs> I'll come on and say whatever she bought. Yeah, I'm gonna let her do the next vlog, y'all. One love. Hello, my mother Sharon says hi from Maryland. She's watching on her TV, so she can't chat. Please tell her 
that she loves your channel. Oh, thank you so much. We appreciate it. Miss Ella said, a beautiful kitchen. Thank you. Well, y'all. Hold on, wait a minute. Uh, Miss Hatcher said, look out, soul food. Soul food tea, mama marketing in the kitchen. Look, honey. Okay, I be trying to tell her, mama, when you get in this kitchen and cook, you need to start letting me vlog you. Because when I cook and vlog, it's hard for me to get angles. But if she's vlogging and I can turn the camera around, it works better. Well, I love that. Like I said, I thank y'all for coming on, but but now it will be neat to meet up one I'm gonna have to, I think I'm, I'm gonna really have to right down the road in the feel, apartments. I can feel my uh. I'm starting back in congesting my coughing stone. I don't want to be coughing on. <coughs> Excuse me. Tamita said cooking with Mama Margaret. I know that. Hold on. Wait a minute, Miss Jeff. You say you in the apartments. The Caribbeans or the Caribbeans? Ain't that what it's called? The Caribbean? You in the Caribbean, Miss Jess? Y'all, I might have to go meet Miss Jess if she, she, that's where my brother at. We might have so us a meet up soon. Yeah, she's she's in apartments down the street, and I know we got it's only two down the street. It's the village in the in the Caribbean. She, Miss Jess, what you say? My brother stay back there. He in the back. My brother's all the way to the back. I did not know that what? this whole time. You mean to tell me you right down the street from me, and we haven't met each other yet? Uh what? And yeah. we go back there sometimes. Yeah. Drop his daughter off or drop him off. Yeah, we be dropping off my brother and my little niece. What they stay back say? there in the back. And so we only a few blocks from you. Cause we right down the street from the post office, Miss Jess. See, I'm telling y'all, we say? just a regular family. Honey, look. We just us. We don't know how to be nobody but us. So if y'all, she in the middle to the back. Okay, look, we're gonna have to meet up. I'm gonna have to come see you and meet up and we're gonna have to talk, okay? We're gonna have to talk. Now, I might have to put you on my vlog so they can see you. Unless you don't want to be on there, and I ain't going to force you. But what you say? Hmm. I did not know that. Now, our kids can be going to school together, and we don't even know. <laughs> I'm telling y'all, y'all never know who y'all going to be. Now, y'all see this just in the comment section. She live in the same apartment complex my brother did. <clears throat> I'm telling y'all, you never know what God has for you, who he has for you. But just so y'all know, we just us. What you see with us is what you get. If you come here, if if Carla or anybody, Nicole, any of you guys come and knock on our door, just like Carla, y'all will see that what you see on here is how we are. Um, we don't put on air. <laughs> we're not proper. We're not bougie. We're not nope. petty. We're not messy. We open our doors. We're going to cook. We're going to sit down. We're going to eat. Um, I only drink on holidays. I'm not knocking anybody else, but I only drink on holidays. Um, and I have me a mixed little drink, but other than that, tea, lemonade, and cold drink, soda. And I'm just an old fashioned <laughs> mom already. If y'all walk through here, y'all gonna see me in jogging pants and a t shirt and right. some slippers. Fun. That's what that's what I, I weigh. And I just got this on because I had one out so. today. Using my hair wrapped up. You might see me in rollers sometimes when I don't feel like taking my comb my hair. Right. But anyway. And that's what we supposed to be. We supposed to be real, you guys. Like that's I we want y'all to always feel at home. Whether y'all watching a vlog, a haul, a ride with us, cooking with us, we want y'all to feel like y'all here. And if y'all doing that, then from my mouth to God is we're doing what the thing that I pray for. Because when I got this channel, that's what I said. I want to be able to connect with people so they can see how we live. And we're just an everyday Southern family. And we want y'all yeah. to feel like a part of our family. Well, y'all don't saw my vegetable soup now. So yeah. I think I'm going to have to close out because my chest is getting tight. And I can feel I'm going to be starting coughing. Then my leg kind of hurting me a little bit. But I enjoy y'all, you know. Miss Patricia, I'm a, I'm gonna send you a message, okay? And God bless y'all and pray for me and I pray for y'all. Miss Jess said her son is in her child is in the third grade. Well, you know, Philip, we held him back again. Miss Red said I like that you don't care what nobody <laughs> saying. Yes, mother. So.
God bless y'all, and I'm glad y'all came on. So, I gotta... Yeah, she gonna go that way, because she's starting to cough. Yeah. <laughs> but y'all gonna finish talking to me for just a minute, so I can finish answering these comments, I'm y'all. I'm gonna on the sofa and stuff, <laughs> Hold on one second. My coming on with me now, y'all. I just don't want to be hacking. Coughing. Hacking is going on, so. Yeah. I'm not going to stay on long. I just want to finish reading this with Miss, um. Go ahead, y'all, y'all. Miss Patricia. Y'all bless y'all. Be blessed. Keep the faith. Y'all bless. Thank you, Miss Aretha. Thank you, Sherry. Thank you, baby girl. And thank you, Miss uh, Miss Deborah. Yeah, that's what like I say. As long as y'all enjoy us and we're here, we love that y'all love what we do because we want y'all to always feel like family because y'all are family, y'all like. And yeah, from my memory to y'all, be blessed. I love y'all and Miss Stephanie said, "My memory, I love that soup and I'll be making this song." Yeah. So now I gotta go sit down. I'm beginning to feel bad now, y'all. I guess because it's getting made in the evening. Right. But anyway. But we will be back, you guys. Y'all will see us tomorrow. Well, I'm going to do a church vlog tomorrow. So I'll put the vlog up tomorrow. And I do. I love y'all. Just like Mama said, we love you guys. And Miss Jess, we will be hooking up with each other. It's been okay. Miss Janet said, God bless you, Mama Margaret. Feel better. Thank you so much, Miss Carla. Thank you to me that the blood of Jesus covered Mama Margaret. Amen. Amen. Everybody saying that they hope you get to feeling better soon, Mama. Thank you. But I am wishing you guys a happy Saturday. Y'all enjoy the rest of y'all evening. I love you too, Redbird. Well, we love you too. I say we love you too. So y'all enjoy y'all day. And we will see you guys in the next video, okay? And if y'all haven't caught the haul yet, y'all please go check that haul out. As well as go over to the other channel. It's me, Alicia. And check us out over there. If y'all not already subscribed over there, y'all go check us out over there. And it's in my description box. Y'all gonna see the same thing. Y'all just getting us on two channels. You know, your girl gotta get her money now that I can't work, okay? Um, I love you too, Miss Cynthia. Y'all have a good night. Be blessed, y'all. Love y'all. Bye, guys.